from India battling with the novel COVID-19 pandemic to Kamala Harris accepting the nomination for U.S. Vice Presidential Candidate representing the Democratic Party, I'm Ansi Mathur. Welcome you all with the top stories of the day. Union Cabinet Minister Gajendra Singh Shekhawat has tested positive for COVID-19. He informed this news via his Twitter handle and has now gone into quarantine. He has also requested people who came in contact with him for the last few days to self-isolate themselves. Be it top-notch ministers or common people, almost all of them are battling with the novel coronavirus pandemic. India records more than 70,000 fresh cases of COVID-19 in the last 24 hours, making the total tally cross the 28 lakh mark. This is the highest single-day spike of COVID-19 cases recorded in the country. Meanwhile, the Delhi government has allowed hotels to resume operations and weekly markets to open after a five-month long trial took place. However, the ban on gyms and yoga centers is still continuing in the capital city. Moving on, on August 14th, Prashant Bhushan, a public interest lawyer of the Supreme Court of India, was pronounced guilty on charges of contempt of court. His sentencing is scheduled to be delivered today, just hours before the proceedings took place. The Supreme Court of India had rejected Prashant Bhushan's plea to defer the date of his sentencing. The Supreme Court of India held that the hearing is complete only after the sentence. As for the latest updates, the Supreme Court has given two days to Prashant Bhushan to reconsider his statement in the case. Moving on to some international news coming up. To win the hearts of the Indian voter base living in the United States, the Indian origin vice presidential candidate of the Democratic Party, Kamala Harris, mentioned the Tamil word chittis while addressing the public in her latest election campaign. In her speech, she criticized the current President Donald Trump and said, Trump's failure of leadership has cost lives and livelihoods. Let us move on to some positive news coming up today. The Government of India has released this year's Swachh Sarvekshan Survey. Indore has been ranked as the cleanest city for the fourth consecutive year. Surat in Gujarat and Navi Mumbai in Maharashtra were ranked second and third respectively. This survey is conducted on an annual basis by the central government under the Swachh Bharat Mission. Indian tennis player Sumit Nagpal has advanced to the single quarterfinals of the Prague Open, which were held in Prague. Nagal, who played against Roger Federer in the US Open last year, will now play against world number no. 3 player Stan Wawrinka. With that, we come to the end of this bulletin. Stay tuned for more updates and keep watching Snoopbox.